Hello everyone. I hope you're all excited for the start of a new semester. My name is Will, and today I'll be showing you how to register for your MindTap course from Blackboard. Let's get started. As you can see, we'll begin this process from our course's homepage in Blackboard. From here, the first step to register for MindTap is to find the link to our MindTap course. This link can be found in a couple of different places within the nav bar on the left-hand side of our screen. First, you may notice an option, like this one here, that reads Access MindTap and eBook here. If we open this up, we should find a link to our MindTap course. Depending on how your instructor has set up your course, this link may look slightly different. For example, it may be titled something like the name of your course, as seen here. It may be titled MindTap. It may be titled Access MindTap here. One thing to look for is the Cengage logo on the left-hand side of the link. This will indicate that this link will take you to your MindTap course. Instead of a link that takes you to the homepage directly, your instructor may have shared links that take you directly to specific assignments. For example, we can see a week one option in our nav bar. When we open it, we can see links that will take us directly to our chapter one and two assignments. These links can also be used to register for our course. So if you don't see a link that's going to bring us directly to our MindTap, please look for links within your assignments. If you are having difficulty finding the link to your MindTap course, please confirm with your instructor or a fellow classmate what the link looks like and where it can be found. Let's go ahead and continue with our registration process by opening up our Access MindTap and eBook Here button and clicking on our MindTap link. Before clicking on our MindTap link, I would like to note that pop-ups will need to be enabled on our browser to open the MindTap window. I will show you how to do this now. Let's start by clicking on the link. You will notice that in the top right hand corner of our browser, a little red notification will pop up that says pop-ups were blocked on this page. To enable pop-ups, we can simply click on the notification and click always allow pop-ups and redirects from blackboard.com. Once we've allowed pop-ups, we can hit done. Next, we can go ahead and click the launch content button and our page should open. After the page has finished loading, you will find yourself on the Cengage login page. If you have used MindTap before for a different course, or if you already have an account at Cengage, you can go ahead and log in. If you have already purchased your MindTap course, please ensure that you use the same email account when logging in. If this is your first time using MindTap or taking a Cengage course, you are able to create an account using the Create Account button below. Today we are going to start fresh and create a new account, so I will go ahead and click the Create Account button. We will be asked if we are a student and we will select Yes. Now it will ask us for an email address. We normally recommend that you use the email address provided to you by your institution, but today I will use a demo Gmail that I've created. After I've entered all the necessary information, I'm going to click to receive important Cengage updates and information, and after I've reviewed the terms of use and privacy policy, I will also click to acknowledge and agree to them, and then I'm going to click Next. Once completed, we will be sent an email verification link to the email address we've used to create our account. In order to complete our account creation, we will need to log into our email and click on the link. So I'll go ahead and open up my email. As you can see, I have received an email from Cengage that says, Welcome to Cengage. Open this email and go ahead and click the link to activate your account. From here, we will be asked to create a password for our account. I will enter one now. Once we've set a password, a window should open up, but we will just close this window. We can close our email window tab as well and unnecessary windows that we've opened when creating our MindTap account and we can go right back into our Blackboard course. From here, what you want to do is click on your MindTap link one more time, and because we've created an account and set a password, we should be able to just log in. Now that we're all logged in, we will be prompted to either purchase access to our MindTap course, or if you have already purchased access, you may enter your access code using the registering access code button. If you still need to purchase MindTap, you can click the purchase options button. 
If this is the case, you will be redirected to Cengage.ca to purchase access to your MindTap course. I would like to add that all students receive 14 days of free access to MindTap from the start date of the course. During the free trial, you'll have an option to open your MindTap without entering an access code. After the free trial has ended, you will need to purchase access and enter an access code for continued access to your Cengage course. For the purpose of this video, I have been provided with an access code to our MindTap course, which I will enter now. Once entered, we can click register. As you can see, we have successfully registered and entered our MindTap course. I hope you have all found this video helpful as well as informative, and I'm wishing you all the best with the upcoming semester. Thank you so much and have a nice day.